Steve, Senator Ron Collins of Wells calls this dirty politics at its best. And with the election less than two weeks away, he says, his two Democratic accusers will say and do whatever it takes to win back control of the Senate. Now, Collins, sitting right next to Justin Alphon, one of his accusers, the other, Senator John Patrick of Rumford, was a no-show today. The two Democrats saying that they have evidence that Collins submitted the same $2,400 hotel receipt to two different payers. Alphon calling it double dipping and hopes the committee will tighten the policies around reimbursements. The Senate Conduct and Ethics Committee determined after a couple of hours of testimony today that Collins did not do anything unethical, saying it wasn't a reimbursement but per diem money that he was entitled to. Collins said after the hearing the damage has already been done. This is all about dirty politics and using any means possible to get the majority in the Senate. And I'm ashamed of them. They shouldn't be doing this. They ruined my reputation. I have friends and family that uh, were disturbed by it. And uh, you can tell that I'm disturbed by it. We shouldn't have an existing senator or representative use other funds to pay for something and then get paid by the taxpayers. And they're going to tighten that up on the 128th. That is great for Maine taxpayers. It's great for the institution. There shouldn't be a cloud over this institution. As for the other Republican senator being accused of misusing travel expenses, that's Senator Andre Cushing of Newport. The committee decided not to tackle his case because his campaign finances are currently being investigated by the Maine Ethics Commission following allegations from his sister that he misused family company assets. That investigation, we're told, could take two months or more. Both Collins and Cushing, by the way, are running for re-election to their Senate seats.